Hi, my name is Martin Hager, and my new song, The Freaks, with David Guetta, is out now. <laughs> Every time they hear this sound, the freaks come out. The freaks. The freaks. The freaks. I learned that a lot of people are interested in how I met David and how the whole track came about. So I'm going to talk about that first. Then I speak about how we came up with the concept and then I'm going to go into the project and show you how exactly we made it. In 2020, right before the pandemic, I had this big show in Los Angeles. It already was like a, a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> and as I walked in, I see this um, notification pop up. David Guetta has sent you a direct message. <laughs> So after that, we started talking about life and music and eventually started making music together too. But it wasn't until this past summer that we came across an idea that we both loved where we thought, okay, this is going to be the perfect song for us to, um, to turn into a collab. The whole concept started with me having this vocal in my head. I'll play it to you. Every time they hear this sound, the freaks come out. The freaks come out. The freaks come out. And the original vocal is actually still in there without the effects on. You can hear that it's my voice. Every time they hear this sound, the freaks come out. The freaks come out. The freaks come out. Every time they... <laughs> yes, it's very embarrassing. But yeah, it's my voice and... Um, it was meant to be just a demo vocal, but it stayed in there in the end because it's um, it had the right vibe, and that also means that I'm singing on uh, David Guetta record now. <laughs> so with that vocal in my computer and in my head, I flew to Burning Man, and in an RV. At Burning Man, I started laying out the basic idea of the song. And I even played it that night. And it went well, but I could feel that it wasn't as good as it should be. So from Burning Man, I flew straight back to Germany to join David at one of his big shows there. And I played the song again. Every time they hear this sound, the freaks come out. Again, gave me that same feeling that it could be better. <laughs> so I showed it to David and he straight away wiped with it and came up with a lot of ideas on how to make it better on the spot. So we decided that this is going to be the song for us to, uh, to collab on. After that, we started sending ideas back and forth, bounced a lot of ideas uh, in between us and um, then it turned into what it is now. So we basically only kept the vocal in there and built this whole new thing around it. We wanted to make a clean, simple, big banger. Something where we combine his future rave thing with my house sound. The whole song, the way it ended up, basically evolves around three simple things. The vocal. Every time they hear this sound, the freaks come out. The freaks come out. The freaks come out. Every time they hear this sound, the freaks come out. Which is so repetitive that in places it's almost like an instrument. And the lead line. As you can hear, it has that whole future rave, big anthemic, everything goes up vibe to it. And that whole lead line has a sub underneath it, which plays off of the same melody and adds to it. And those three elements together, that's the track. In 
the second build up there's another sound coming in that came out of the ARP 2600 over there and it's basically just the same note but building up in tempo. To create tension and later on it drops in a similar rhythm than the rest of the track for the second drop. Every time they hear this sound, the freaks come out. The freaks. 